What's up YouTube? It's your boy KG back at it with another video. Got something special in for y'all today. As y'all can see in the back, Mr. Eddie Wynn University got his t-shirt in. But we came here honestly today to talk about the shoes. The original the Sony original shoes with uh Eddie Wynn. Like they did a bunch of YouTube. They got a, a group of YouTubers together, did a uh, uh some collabs with them. This is the 80 Wing collaboration with uh, Saucony. Um, the S the Grid SD, green, tan, burnt, and bronze. That's the colorway on the shoes. Uh, y'all know what the shoes look like. Like we just gonna get them out so y'all can see. As you can see, the shoe. got the shoe in hand and this is clean like this is a clean shoe like this look like something that Saucony will actually put out like it doesn't look like too out the water you know what I mean to like oh you know like don't get me wrong like I'm blown away by the shoe cause the shoe is dope but it's not like you know how sometimes you get collabs and people want to go so left field with the collab so they, that you'll know that it's a collab like this is like it seems like Saucony you know it look like something that'd be on a Saucony shoe. Like, man, listen, Eddie Wynn might be the dopest designer on YouTube as far as just like YouTube guys that just know fashion and stuff. Like, they got this is put together well. Like the color blocking, the little hint of red. Like he said, this was inspired after his uh his first car, I think a Ford Taurus, a Ford Taurus, and. We had a, my family had a, a, a Ford Contour, a green model Ford Contour with the tan interior, you know, so this is, um, I, I can relate to this because we had a car that was, uh, that was similar to this, you know, to, to similar to a Ford Taurus, which is the Contour, which basically was the line down from the Taurus at the time, if I'm, if I'm mistaken, it was like a Contour and then you got the Ford Taurus and whatever else they had, but yeah. Like I can I can relate to this to the forward tours, you know, the color blocking and all that. Like I can relate to it. Um like the 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 materials on here are like buttery smooth though, like for real though. Like this way right here is soft, like it's crazy. And this leather, like this leather, man, but the suede, I'm more impressed by the suede on the in the toe box right here and up here on the tongue. Like this suede is crazy. The leather, the leather is good too now. Don't get me wrong. The leather is good. But you don't get a good feel for the leather just because of the way the shoe is blocked. Like here, it's like double paneling right there in here. So, and this right here is a, a plastic. Like, the, I guess they contain it or whatever. It's like a plastic right here. So, you don't get a good feel of the leather as much. Like, the inside leather is, don't get me wrong. Like, the leather is good because this, the leather on the inside of the shoe, like, all this is leather. So, the leather on the inside of the shoe is great. Don't get me wrong. But on the outside of the shoe, you don't get a good feel for the leather. Just the way the, the, the way the shoe is blocked, you don't get a good feel for the leather. But this weight, bro, this weight is, listen, I ain't never put my hands on anything this soft as far as uh, on a shoe. Like, I'm just being honest. And I like the little speckles he threw in there. The little green and, what is it, green and gold speckles or tan speckles, excuse me. The green and tan speckles he threw in there. Like, that's, that's smooth. I like that. And I like that he didn't fade the midsole. Like, I like the fact that he didn't fade the midsole. He kept it one color and then just used the way the shoe is, like, blocked off right there. He used the way the shoe is blocked off and just switched the color and threw the speckles in there. Like, I'm glad that they didn't fade that. Because sometimes fades, fades don't work on everything, you know. You can't fade everything, you know. And the same thing on this side. 
Like he used the way the shoe is blocked. Went from tan to the white. Like that's smooth. I like that. He now he did have to throw his own little details on it. He put his little E win right here. E win there. He got the E on this shoe. Win on the inside of it. Uh oh, and the inside of the shoe is supposed to like represent the road, if I'm not mistaken, with the double lines, the black tar. Now on this shoe, he got the W on the tongue of the shoe, and he got his like his full the eddy. He got the full eddy on the inside of it. Like, and he's got the E wing here. Alright, and I know y'all probably thinking like why he got an E on this shoe and a and a win on the inside. And he got the W on this tongue, and he got Eddie on the inside of it. Boy, if you're looking at the shoe like this, just like if I'm walking down the street and you're looking at the shoe like this, uh, you're going to see the E, W, Eddie, Win. You read from left to right, right? Okay. Now, same way now, we still, you walking down the street, oh, not say you walking down the street, you getting ready to put on the shoes or whatever. Well, whenever you hold the shoe up, boom, you read from left to right, Eddie, Win. That's how you read from left to right and I know what y'all saying what can I do that that's backwards no listen if I'm putting on the shoe now if I'm sitting down putting on the shoe I read from left to right so it's gonna say Eddie win because you read from left to right now you sitting on this side you read from left to right meaning you're gonna see the E and the W like that small detail right there hands down we done with the shoe because because of, of that small detail right there we done with that shoe now get into the shirt that he made uh, for the shoe he got the uh the Wayne University. I think he said this logo. He gonna kind of like chill with this logo for a little while, just because it's like, I think he said something like a staple piece. Like if you got this on, boom, you know, it's not something you are gonna bring out every day because of how big the logo is. It's recognizable and stuff like that. Uh, the little red tagging on there, that was dope. I see what you I see what you did there. Uh, it's plain on the back, and like it pretty much it's basically almost a direct match to the shoe like for the most part like this br that might be a little more brownish but you know you know they'll be all right they be all right you know but anyways um dope shoe by Saucony and mr eddie win on the collaboration uh somebody need to pick up that guy mr eddie win because hands down legit might be the best person when it comes to fashion I well not let me not say the best person cuz I don't he hands down has a knack for fashion and putting colors together and making stuff just work like the little books he throw up on this uh channel like the guy know how to put stuff together like, okay somebody better pick the guy up cuz somebody got he's a gem in the making like the guy's a gem like yo somebody better get this man on their team like for real Sockney, y'all already had first deals, y'all. Mike better snatch the guy up. I'm just saying. Anyways, that's all I got for y'all today, you two. Uh, the Sockney and Eddie Wynn collaboration. The Eddie Wynn t-shirt in the bag. Catch y'all next time, you two. Peace.